If you are looking for something new and different for the upcoming Compliance Week celebration in November, check out The Compliance Kids. It's my three-book children's series on compliance and compliance professionals for children. But they make great gifts and great training tools for your employees. You can check it out on Amazon.com. We've linked to it in the show notes. The Compliance Tip of the Day. This is the podcast where you bring you daily insights and practical advice on navigating the ever-evolving landscape of compliance requirements. Whether you're a seasoned compliance professional or just starting your journey, my aim in this podcast is to provide you with a bite-sized, actionable tip to help you stay on top of your compliance game. Join us as we explore the latest trends from the Department of Justice, share some best practices, demystify complex compliance issues to help keep your organization doing business ethically and in compliance and at the end of the day, more profitably. Tune in daily for your dose of compliance wisdom. Let's make compliance a little less daunting, one tip at a time. Now a word from the sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, Ethico. If you're a compliance officer, middle managers are crucial in getting your programs from you to your frontline employees. But how do we activate those managers and get them on our side? Ethico's new Middle Manager Toolkit equips you with the skills needed to empower your managers, to promote a culture where ethical behavior thrives and employees feel empowered to speak up. Learn how to turn frontline managers into ethical leaders with our new white paper, Empowering Middle Managers as Ethics Champions. And did I mention you can get the whole toolkit for free? Head to ethico.com to download the full toolkit today. We continue to data mine the John Deere FCPA enforcement action for lessons for the compliance tip of the day. Uh, Today, we're going to review lessons on pre-acquisition due diligence. Number one, it is absolutely mandatory that you conduct a thorough corruption risk assessment. And the John Deere case understands scores the importance of assessing the compliance risk profile of a target company. This means understanding the countries in which the target operates and the inherent risks associated with those jurisdictions. Of course, it also also means an assessment of how the target does business. You can, can combine this with evaluating the target's compliance program and culture is that you not only need to evaluate business operations, but also its corporate culture and compliance program, or lack thereof. A target company may have all the right words on paper, but if its culture does not support these ethical practices, the policies are meaningless. You need to look for red flags, and if you find them, additional investigation is warranted. Financial data it can often reveal hidden compliance risks. In the John Deere case, irregularities in how contracts were won especially in high-risk countries, should have raised concern literally in the pre-acquisition process. Through pre-acquisition due diligence, you can partner with finance to review contracts and agreements, having special focus on deals involving government entities or third parties, analyze payments for signs of improper uh, payments, and of course, if there are red flags, investigate any prior audits or investigations where compliance or other financial irregularities arose. There is quite a bit you can do in the pre-acquisition phase, and the Department of Justice is really focusing on this pre-acquisition component. Many companies used to try to clean things up in post-acquisition, but that, I think, is either a fool's errand or a fool's gold, and you really need to have compliance a part of your M&A team and doing compliance due diligence as well as financial due diligence going forward. As I said in the opening of this podcast, this month's sponsor of the entire Compliance Podcast Network is Ethico, and they've developed a toolkit for middle managers that will help middle managers in intaking information from employees and equally importantly, understanding how to respond and how to get the information up to compliance for the decision makers. We've linked to this toolkit in our show notes, so check it out at ethico.com. This is Tom Fox again. This new podcast, Compliance Tip of the Day, will appear daily. And frankly, it's one of the most requested topics.
topics for a podcast that I get on a regular basis. It's going to be short and sweet with uh, one tip with some takeaways that you can utilize to implement into your compliance program. If you've got a question that you would like a tip on, please submit them uh, through our website and we will use them in an upcoming episode. The Compliance Tip of the Day is a production of the award-winning Compliance Podcast Network. Finally, this podcast contains promotional materials.